Unit 14. Exploring the meaning of home in the house on Mango Street. August 26th. Esperanza's community and her place in it are central to the house on Mango Street. Though she is the narrator, most of the book's brief chapters describe individuals around her. She lives in Chicago, U.S., where there are many kinds of people, but her neighborhood is primarily composed of Mexican families. Most, but not all, of the people Esperanza writes about are women. Esperanza notes early on that the boys and the girls live in separate worlds. She's talking about her fellow children, but all her stories of adults bear out her idea of a wall between the worlds of men and women. As the narrative progresses and Esperanza matures, she starts to think about breaching that strange barrier. She is attracted to boys. And disgusted by them at the same time, both as she examines her own feelings, and when she sees her friends starting to flirt and kiss, these feelings are complicated by the inequality of the marriages she sees, where women are often trapped at home. She describes many women as looking out of windows, sitting their sadness on an elbow. When Esperanza is assaulted by men while at a carnival with her friend Sally, she feels betrayed. Sally was distracted by a boy and didn't come to her aid. Esperanza is unable to express her anguish over the awful experience to anyone. However, she meets three older women who seem to see her pain, though they don't directly address her trauma. They comfort her by affirming the beauty of her Mexican name. At the same time, they tell her she's special, and encourage her to write. Esperanza leaves her encounter with them, feeling capable of someday leaving her community, without abandoning it.